Sarah, thanks so much. And Evan, thanks so much for joining us here today at your headquarters on the heels of this Investor Day. We really appreciate it. Julia, thanks so much for having me. It's great to be here. So I want to talk, first of all, about these user targets. $750 million now, a billion in the next two to three years. There's so much competition for consumers' time right now. TikTok, first and foremost, among your rivals. What makes you confident you're going to hit that $1 billion number? When you think about the core of our service, it's really about visual communication between friends and family. And that's what can, has continued to drive our growth over time. Snapchat opens up into the camera where people can choose from all sorts of augmented reality lenses to express themselves and share those with friends and family. And ultimately, what we've seen over the last 11 years or so of building our business is that communication with friends and family is something that brings a lot of joy into people's lives and that they really like to do frequently. We shared today that in the United States, for example, people open Snapchat approximately 40 times a day uh, on average. And that's really because they like to talk with their friends and family. So I think that communication, especially visual communication with friends and family, is going to continue to be a big driver of our growth. So there are two pieces of this that you're focused on. One is the engagement and the other is the monetization. You talked a lot about today about this idea of shifting focus to direct response ads. Where are you in this journey of better monetization of your relationship with your, your users? Direct response has always been a core focus of our business. It's why it makes up about two-thirds of our revenue today. But it has been beset by some of the platform policy changes that disrupted the way this, that people measure and buy direct response advertising. So we've been working really hard over the past year or two to help people measure their advertising in new ways using things like our conversion API, for example. And we've been making a lot of improvements inside the application itself to the way that people engage with advertising, You know, whether it's improving the performance of our web view to increase on platform conversions or changing the way that ads appear in our service. And then, of course, we've been working very hard to recalibrate all of our machine learning models against those types uh, of conversions and to focus more on last click conversions, which are increasingly important to advertisers in this environment where measurability and observability has been impacted. I want to return to this machine learning conversation in a bit, but you mentioned today that you have a new team. You had the loss of two of your big executives who went over to Netflix, and it comes at a time when there's a lot of competition for ad dollars in this digital video space, which is really where Snap is. I mean, there's communication, but you have a lot of premium content with ads on it. How do you think of Netflix and some of these other streaming ad platforms as competition for what you're going for in terms of growing ad market share? Well, when we, when we thought about the evolution of our team, what was really important to us was to combine engineering, sales, and revenue product into one organization so that we could much more effectively go to market with a highly complex and technical sale. Selling direct response advertising today is a very sophisticated process because for many of our largest clients, it requires custom integrations, for example. And so Jerry's leadership as our new chief operating officer has helped us combine engineering and sales and revenue product to better and more effectively serve our partners. And as part of that, we've also regionalized uh, our leadership. So we have three regional president roles, Ronan Harris uh, in, in uh, EMEA, Ajit Mohan in APAC, and we currently have the America's role open uh, where we're looking for our um, America's uh, president. And this regionalized go-to-market is helping us better serve our, uh, our customers all over the world and increase our average revenue per user in the APAC and EMEA regions, because historically we had more of a, a U.S.-centric focus that's driven a lot of our growth uh, over time. So I'm very excited about how this new st structure is informing our growth. And ultimately, what that structure reflects is a very different sales process and go-to-market than streaming video. Direct response advertising on mobile with full-screen vertical video, with conversion on platform inside the application uh, is critically important to helping people grow their businesses and is, is differentiated when it you know, relates to, to streaming advertising, which is not necessarily bought in the same way or experienced the same way uh, by customers.